What's going on guys, this is Riley here with Iceflow. Today I'm going to be taking you through a short little tutorial on how to remove um, the background from your Shopify products and automatically re-upload those images directly to your store. So it's a pretty simple flow. Um, you're doing this in make.com. It's only three modules, as you can see here. So um, basically, if I go explain flow here, this takes the image from your recently uploaded um, Shopify product, sends the images over to remove BG, which will use an AI technology, whatever, whatever the hell they use, I don't even know, to uh, remove the images, or remove the background from the images, and then it'll send it back to your Shopify store, or the new image without the background to your Shopify store, and that'll automatically be uploaded. So it's a pretty cool little scenario. Super easy to set up, very beginner friendly. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna do it from almost scratch here. As you can see, I've already got it built out, but it's super simple. Uh, I'll just quickly show you how to add these. So like to add one of these modules, you would go to this little button down here in the middle, press add, and then you would just find Shopify or remove VG. And you would just go into Shopify, and then search watch products and it'll pop up and then you just click that one just like that and then it would add and that's how you do that so anyways uh, now we're gonna make we're gonna start here by um, making our connections so to do that click on the module it's gonna say create a connection so we're gonna click on that and then you're gonna select your connection type and go Shopify this one's the easiest to do because all you gotta do is Come back to your Shopify store. I got a brand new store, no products in it, nothing. But anyway, so what you do is you go to view up, view your online store. That'll show you this, which is the code you need. So right before that dot, you take everything before that, copy that, come back to make.com, connection name. We're gonna change this to iceflow.ai because it's always good to name your stuff. And then we're gonna go Boom. And that should connect to our Shopify store for us. It will pull this up, verify connection, and that's good. All of these, leave them empty. Um, you can mess with the limit, say if you bulk upload like 10 products at a time, but uh, if you have this where it runs every, like once every day, which is uh, what we're actually gonna do. Every day at, let's do every day at 12. I'm doing this the lazy way. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so you leave all that empty. You could change this to say if you have 10 products, do it for all 10 products at the same time, but we're not gonna bother with that. So that's all we need to do there. Uh, choose where to start from now on okay so we're now connected to that first um shopify module and that's this is our webhook or it's like a webhook so next we will go to remove bg connect there i'm going to name this iceflow um shopify image Um, and then we wait, this will ask us to, okay, so I already have a remove BG account, so I can then just connect here, but usually when you connect, it'll just make you sign in or create an account, and then you just gotta create your account or enter your password or whatever else, and then it'll take you to this. So we're going to go authorize app. And then this should automatically connect for us. Perfect. Um, very luckily, this is actually already filled out in the exact way I need it to be. But I will show you how to do it anyways. So, when you first get in here, it would look a lot more like, like this. So you need to have a image URL and how you do that is you go to images here, go image source, 
and then you go I have it written down image variant IDs so then you would go because mm -hmm. we don't need that image variant IDs I believe that's the right one if not, we'll have to do some troubleshooting. You get to watch me do it live. So that's one. And then, so you got your image URL all set up. You don't have to worry about this stuff because this will just keep it all the same basically for you. Uh, come down here to new background. And you can make this transparent, which sometimes is what you want to do. But in this particular situation for Shopify, I don't think it's the best plan. So we're going to go here. And then we're going to put it for the color code of white, which is six F's with the numbers I'm in from, um, or the pounds on whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, yeah, so that looks all good. And we come here. Um, and then since we made the connection with Shopify up ahead here, it's the same connection. So we just update the connection with the required permission. Okay. So we just click that account that we already made. Select that connection. This brings us here. And then we would go update. So this just allows make.com to do a couple more things with Shopify that this initial connection didn't allow us to do. So that's all good. Uh, this is also set up the way that we want it. So product ID is coming from this first module here into the second one. So that's perfect. And then if we come down here so again you would have to add these i think this is because i already made this scenario before testing it out and i think it just kind of saved it which isn't what i want but it is what it is so you would just go product id which is right there but that's all good and then you'd go to image id which would be in images under image id so right there click that you can see it's identical we don't need that. And then image data actually comes from the remove.bg module. And you, it's the only option there. So just press image data. And that would add it like that. And good to go. So after that, there's nothing else we need to fix here. Now all we got to do is add a product to our Shopify store. Um, for the test purposes, I'm going to only have one image because I'm actually running this on a free account because. I'm not actually running the Shopify store. I don't need to be removing images or backgrounds from images day in and day out. So I'm running it free. So there's only like two credits for me. So I'm only going to do one picture, but you guys will have to pay for the usual um, plan with BG to actually remove more than one image. But it sounds like an issue, not an issue me. So we're going to add this um, fragrance oil diffuser here for a car. So we're going to add that. So we're going to go review and publish. Uh, I don't care about the rest of these um, options. So I'm literally just going to remove all the pictures. And then we're going to publish to my store. I don't care about the price. I don't care about the profit margins because I'm not actually running a store here. And then if we go back here to our Shopify store and refresh it we have the oil diffuser so quickly I'm just gonna click on this and make sure there is only one picture because I knew that was gonna happen we're gonna just remove that and now I think I should be good to run my um, make.com scenario and it should automatically remove that remove the cloudy background from this picture here and then re-upload it just the actual product so we're gonna try that now mm -hmm. let's hope this works looks good looks absolutely perfect I believe that is exactly what we wanted so now I'm gonna come back here and refresh it and boom now you can see it's just the picture of the product with an all white background, which is exactly what we wanted. So that's how we do that. Uh, and that's all there is to it. Um, yeah. 
I kind of didn't expect that to work out first try, but I guess I'm just the best. Uh, if this was helpful and you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like, subscribe. There's going to be more videos coming like this in the future. So, yeah. Iceflow.ai. It's my automation agency. I can do this stuff for you. Or you can watch my videos to learn how to do it for yourself. Up to you. But anyways, have a good day.